Hey guys, Blake here, and today, or tonight as I should say, I am going to show you how to make the secret library door that I have over there. Um, it's one, it's about to be two o'clock for me at night, so if I make any mistakes, well, don't be surprised. So what you need for this is some three sticky pistons or four or five depending on how high you want this bookshelf or this library um, some bookshelves wood redstone redstone torches and that's it and creativity so we're gonna make this one again which is one two three four five for the base which is the length so I'm just gonna duplicate it one two three four five which is three of them is not being used actually let me move this whole thing over a little because I need because you need about one two three four five you need five blocks for wiring and five blocks for the actual contraption the actual room itself If you don't hear the Minecraft music, that is because I have headphones in. I just want to see if um, me having headphones in, if it'll record the Minecraft music and it won't have an echo. So, so I'm going to make it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blocks long. You can make it as long as you want, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, uh, I hope I don't. Okay, now you have the base uh, set out. Now you need to pick where you want your bookshelf to be. I'm going to pick right here. So I'm going to take that out. And you want sticky pistons, and you want to make sure they're facing outward. So, like that. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. No, you want them to be in the next room. Cool, there you go. Okay, because they're going to be extended. Now you're just going to put down your bookshelf. Okay, now we're going to actually make the wiring. So you're going to have... have a button with me. I'm just, I'm just gonna use a lever then. Then you're gonna have to wire it two blocks over. And I'm just gonna put these there to make sure, this way I know that this is a separate room. This way I don't get confused. Now, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm sure someone else who knows, um, knows how to wire better than me will be able to make this more compact. But this is how I do it and it works for me pretty well. So, so I'm going to get rid of the block behind the bottom piston. And you want to run your wire out to here, one block before you hit the wall, and then place a wooden or any block actually right there, and put a redstone torch on the opposite side. So what you're going to do is making a inverter, actually, go like this. So you have an inverter which will keep the pistons on the whole time until you flip the switch or turn them off which will retract them and then you're just going to wire it up so you can see the bottom one just went out and we're going to get the top so what you're going to do is put a block here a block here a block there and another block there 
Actually, I don't even think you need that. Because pistons power pistons, so when this one's powered, this one will be powered. So go bam, bam. like that. You can always mess around with it. Mine's a little sketchy. As you can see, it powered the bottom one perfectly. And you got that part done. There we go. So now that you have that done, all you want to do is flip the switch and it retracts. And I'm just going to get a button really quick because I think it looks a lot better with buttons. <clears throat> and I fixed my door so it actually works now. It was I actually made a, made a lot more complex than what it was before but I added an inverter on top so just need one button and then we're done and then you could uh, fix up however you want so that's basically how you make it you can make it any size and stuff but that's the general idea. And if you want to time it, I guess you could uh, add repeaters. So I'm just going to build the rest of this. So you can see, I might actually speed this up. So, ah, hold on, hold on. And there you go. That's how you make your uh, your very own secret passage. Click this button and walk on through. Now you can add another button here, and it's super simple. Um, probably I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. You probably just need another inverter to shut off the power. But I'll let you guys figure that one out. Because it's basically reverse engineering it, and this pig is getting annoying. Um, I do I have anything else to say? I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it. That's all the basics. You can use this room for God knows what. Maintenance room, staff only room, whatever. Out of sight, out of mind. That's my saying. That's the mo mo uh, motto I live by. So I thank you guys for watching. If this did help you, please leave a like so I know that... Oh, really? Leave a like so I know it helped you. And um, this way I can make more tutorials. Because I actually enjoy this. It's pretty fun. Um, also... Leave a comment if you need help, etc. And follow me on Twitter because I, I hate doing it. Well, I'm not very fond of doing this. But if you follow me on Twitter, I could, uh, you could give me ideas of what to do for next videos. And I will post when I'm doing stuff and stuff like that. And I had something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember. Because my... Memory sucks. Um, uh, what was it? Crap, I really can't remember. Oh well. I'm just going to finish up this building. So uh, 
Um, so you know what it looks like. Like I said, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, so I'm pretty darn tired. And I don't have regular torches, okay. Cool, cool story. So that's it guys, that's, that's exactly how I made this one. Except for this one, um, is a little different, differently wired. But, same concept, not too hard. So thank you guys for watching, I guess leave a like if you want, or if you can, because it helps me. And um, be on the be on the lookout for more Minecraft videos because I do have my episode coming out, and I do plan on uh, bringing out more tutorials like this using pistons because they are now my most favorite thing in the Minecraft game. The only thing I have a question about is how are we supposed to get slime balls? Slimes are not mm -mm, not that common. So it's going to be a little tricky. So, uh, sorry about that. So like I said, guys, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.